Hello, hello. This is part two of Gnome, and uh, the, we're at the left point. Uh, this is the uh, what, second boss, and we're at a bit of a quandary here because the shaman thunder, thunder shocked it over the edge, and now it's working its way slowly up. Um, with, with every mob it comes across, um, which isn't ideal at all. So we're a little bit like kind of waiting for our impeding doom. Um, but you'll see how it works out. Um, it's a bit. There's going to be a hit and miss. We're all kind of preparing, um, and hopefully, hopefully we'll make it through. I'm a bit worried because I don't know where it's coming from. Um, where is it? Come on, little fella. Come on, little fella. Where, where are you going? Where are you? There we go. There we go. This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, so we've got a plan. We're ready. We've got a plan. we got a plan. Mage is suiciding, but that's fine. So I'm rending. Yeah, rending. Thunderclap. Yeah, so everyone's got rend. And those numbers are ridiculous, honestly. Um, so they're kind of streaming through, which is quite good. Good for us, anyway. Um, I'm actually not taking that much damage. Uh, Surprisingly, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it was overall not too bad. We're getting all the odds ads down, um, slowly. AOE, AOEing them down, and that's all fine. And then, hooray, we're, we are left with just the boss, and we're feeling all very happy. Everything's well in the world. Yeah, nothing else could go wrong at all. Uh, no, honestly, nothing else does go wrong in this run. Um, yeah, so this guy's got nothing nothing that really threatens you in any way. Unless he falls off the edge and pulls the whole whole dungeon again. Um, um chain bolt, it's like a chain lightning kind of thing, just damage to a few people. But again, it's nothing to really worry about. Um, so yeah. So this is kind of the standard thing to do. This is to go this way and then jump down just carefully, you know. You don't want to go straight down the edge, you might die, basically. I'm trying to get everyone to follow me, follow, follow me, follow me please. Um, the best way to get people to follow you is just to kind of like run back a little bit and then run like you know where you're going. Um, and then uh, some, some kind fellow, that's another way to do it, just to put a nipple in, a nipple on top of your head. Um, everybody follows the nipple. There we go. So you could jump on this bit here, just avoid everything on that floor. Um, that's great. So hopefully everyone should be following me and my nipple. Um, and then you go across here and you come across this other other gnome who's doing something with his hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands perhaps. Always jazz hands. That's all he does. No use. No use really. That's where you hand in the quest and you get another one or something. I don't know. I can't remember. This is actually like the second second run or something I did of this because... Um, on this character anyway because the first one... I forgot the first boss. I just kind of went straight past it because it kind of looks the same as everything else, to be honest. Uh, and the healer's like telling me to go pull everything, uh, and I'm like, well, there's only 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 certain amount of quickness I can do because it kind of depends on rage. Obviously, you want to want to get a little bit of threat on everything first before you go wandering off. Um, so that's basically my uh, my worry there. Uh, I'm picking up a fair few, but you know, Mahila says he's confident, and I, I believe him. And someone's taking a lot of damage, so I'm a bit worried. So I'm heading back, making sure everyone's okay. And I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm going there. Go. They're going down quite quickly. Now you can either go into this in this bottom level, or you could go to the left and go at the top. Again, that's oh, that's another thing I like. Just the option. Okay. There's not much difference in the in the way of uh, what mobs you fight, but it's just it's just choices. Everybody loves choices, you know what I mean? That's cool. So, slowing down a bit here. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, but I get dazed. What can you do? Yeah, I'm gonna charge, I'm gonna charge. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I love it. I love it, I actually love it. So, charge, if you didn't know, once you charge in there, it actually generates rage for you. So, you can literally get a, a quick rend and then a quick thunderclap really easily. Just makes it so easy, especially if you uh, uh, use it in conjunction. That's a long word for me. Uh, with battle shout, you've got so much rage before you go into a battle. It's so good. Um, 
So I'm trying to make my way to this next pack. Oh, it's beautiful. I think that's it. There, I actually saw a glyph where you can lower the charge um, cooldown by one second. Now I'm pretty sure that doesn't really matter that much in dungeons. I think that's more of a PvP thing. But I was so tempted to get it, just because, just because. Um, honestly, it wouldn't make much difference in dungeons. I think it's got to be PvP. It's got to be, surely. One would think, because I think if you uh, if you're max level 85 and you you've done perhaps maybe you maybe your main spec is arms or warrior <laughs> or fury even yes um i think you can go into the protection tree and go go and get warbringer so you can charge around in whatever whatever spec you want which i think is really cool i actually uh, dual specs to arms i think i've not tried it out and because i haven't leveled as arms i've got no idea on the rotation so Honestly, I've got no idea. I'm none the wiser. I kind of regret doing it, to be honest, because if I want, even if I wanted to quest, I do enough damage in my blues as protection. I think anyway. Um, so that's fine. That's cool. Uh, we're coming up to the last boss now. Uh, through this door, you just click on it and it opens. Um, running a bit low on a uh, mana. That that guy. You always bring drinks if you can. If you can. Uh, this is Mega Talk or whatever his name is. He's a uh, He's the main baddie gnome. It's not very intimidating though. Hmm? Usupers? What's an upers? Usupers? Goodness me. Anyway, um, I was initially worried about these walking bomb things, um, but apparently they don't seem to do much. Um, I'd probably advise the DPS to range DPS anyway to get them down as quickly as you can. But I mean. I, I used to try and move the boss around because I'm used to kind of raiding and avoiding this kind of stuff but they don't seem to do that much to be honest I think they target a random person and they may they may explode, I don't know until they do damage to me there and that might have done um, but other than that, again, nothing nothing to worry about really I suppose it's nice that you've actually got some ads that come into a boss on one of these early dungeons um, and we've actually got someone trapped outside, which isn't ideal, because when you engage this guy, the door closes behind you. So that's why. That's why he wasn't quick enough. He's probably drinking a drink or something. Um, yeah, you know, he's a rogue actually, which is a bit of a shame because he was like the one of the highest DPS, um, and he's not actually in the fight, which is why it's taken forever, forever. Mm. And I was actually a bit worried here because. I don't want to be overwhelmed by all the bombs because I could see that happening quite quickly, and it'd be quite a cool mechanic actually if you if you couldn't DPS him down quick enough just to be swarmed with all these bombs. So it's like, oh, that would be interesting, but as it turns out, they're quite easy to kill. So no worries there, no worries there at all. So as you can see, is uh, he doesn't do a massive amount of damage. Um, oh, that was a crit. That's not good. Oh, another crit. Oh goodness me. Um, if you didn't know, you can actually become crit immune, which means you you'll never get a critical hit by anything, and that's um that's two points in your protection tree, in tier three, and I actually I've actually got them now, so nothing can crit me. Oh, oh, that really makes a difference, doesn't it? I didn't notice how many crits were I was taking, uh, running through this, but three hundred damage is a lot, and that just won't happen if you take the talents uh, to prevent you from being critical hit so yeah so yeah that's Gnome Riggan um, I hope you enjoyed that anyway uh, it's quite a standard dungeon not really much to talk about to be honest but that's basically the basic uh, way you'd go through that uh, yeah so I'll see you next time and yeah stay safe and if you can't stay safe be good or something that's what my dad says anyway bye <laughs>